Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna first mention that don't forget, for those of you who are new watching or just reminders for those who watch every video, I am heading to Las Vegas for the biggest, epic, most epic event so far. It is PoorCon and that is happening in Las Vegas. August 6th through 9th. Uh, I will be there. 21 other YouTube artists will also be there. Um, you get to pick from seven classes. Uh, you can choose seven classes to take between all the 22 artists. There's lunch and learns. There's all kinds of stuff happening. If you want more details and you want information, the link to the website is below in the description. It's poorcon.com check it out i will be there i cannot wait so if you want information check out the description below in the in uh, below the video and that is where you will find the link to the website um speaking of workshops um you all know i did one a couple of weeks back here in my home studio um a lot of people have been asking me when i'm doing another one i will probably plan one for july so if you are interested in taking a home workshop here in my studio in London, Ontario, um, email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. You'll get put on the mailing list so that when I do choose a date on, a, it's going to be one Saturday in July at some point, um, you'll get an email letting you know when that workshop will happen. So if you want to be on the mailing list, send me an email. All right, dried results of the painting from last video, it dried perfectly, which means I'm loving these tri-art paints. Um, they are amazing, and I'm really liking how this turned out, how it dried. So it is still going to get a top coat of crystal resin, and then it will be available for purchase. If anyone is interested, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. It is available. Email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. Don't forget, I still have the wall here to my left that has uh, some paintings that I have available for purchase at pretty much 50% off. A couple have sold. I still have a few up on the wall. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go to my previous video right to the end of the video. You will see all the paintings up on the wall that are available for purchase. All right. Uh, I think that's about it. I don't have much to say today. Shocker. <laughs> All right, I am going to get myself set up. I'm going to bring you guys down and I'll tell you guys what we are doing today. Be right back. All right, everybody. So today's video is going to be a teeny tiny little piece. Um, this is actually a 12 by 12 inch canvas. And it's actually um, from this floating frame, which is going to be super awesome. Um, every once in a while, I like to splurge and buy these canvases that come with the floating frame with them. Obviously that goes in here, but I can't do that because I've got my furniture levelers underneath, so I can't really show you that, but I will when it's dry and done. But, so this is a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas. It comes with a floating frame, okay? And let me show you, it is, this is the brand, Gotrick, okay? So that is the brand. And I get them from a store here in London called Bijan's Art Studio. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. They do ship within Ontario. I'm not sure if they ship Canada-wide, and I'm pretty sure they don't ship outside of Canada. I could be wrong, though. I've never really paid attention to where they ship. Um, if you live in London, though, um, they do offer delivery. If you spend over 100 bucks or something like that, uh, shipping is free. But um, they have amazing stuff there. I get a lot of my wood panels from there. Um, they do have great stuff. So check out the website if you are local or within Ontario. All right, so the colors I'm using today, I'm going blues, okay? And this is for someone special. I'm not gonna tell you who it's for, not just yet, because then it's just gonna spoil it for the person who's gonna be receiving it. So they can't know yet. And no, it's not Kathleen. <laughs> We all remember that one, but no. So it's, um, I'm doing blues because this person really, really loves blues just like I do. Now I've gone a little overboard with how many colors I've chosen here on a 12 by 12 inch canvas. My suggestion is four 
maybe five colors max on such a small canvas, okay? Especially if you're a beginner and you're just learning, you know, whatever. Um, but I decided to freaking go for it. And I'm, I've got seven colors here, so this should be interesting. So let me tell you what those colors are. I've got Blue Black Indigo by Atelier, which is literally, there's not much left. So I, I may not even have enough for this anyway. And I was too lazy to fill it up. Then... I'm kind of contemplating this one now that I look at it. Then we have Pearl Ocean Blue by Arteza. Then I have Indanthrene Blue by Holbein. Haven't used that in a long time. Then we've got Iridescent Blue Green by Bebeo. Then uh, Thalo Turquoise by Triart, one of my new colors, one of my new pink colors. Uh, Windsor Blue by Windsor & Newton. And then topping it off, Indigo by Amsterdam, the Expert Series, okay? That is a lot of colors for a teeny tiny canvas, okay? And of course, using the flower hair dryer. And um, you can get it at Walmart or Amazon in the US. However, I have been hearing a lot that you cannot find this at Walmart anymore, not even online at Walmart anymore. And one of my viewers actually contacted the manufacturing company and they actually responded to her and told her that um, there's a shortage on supplies like to make them. So that's why you can't really find them at Walmart anymore for now because there's a shortage. Um, but they did say in the response to her that it will be back in stock in like two, three or something months. So I don't know, couldn't tell you, but um, that's, the, that's the news and that's what I've heard. Um, but yeah. So, I don't know. It's called Flower by Drew Barrymore. All right, so let's flood the canvas. I'll be right back. The teeny tiny canvas is flooded. Now, if you're working on a canvas that has a floating frame to it, the sides don't really particularly matter too, too much because when you put the canvas in the floating frame, you're not gonna see the sides anyway. So keep that in mind. Like, I mean, me, I'm still gonna make sure the sides look good, but just keep in mind that uh, they are kind of gonna disappear in that floating frame. All right, so I'm just gonna do a simple wispy. And like I said, I don't even know if I should have enough. There we go. There's like barely anything left in that. That's all right. I was still debating on this, but I'm putting it on here anyway. All right, seven colors. Uh, let's see, what do I have? Oh, so I'm planning a road trip to Chicago. Um, I posted that on Instagram and a few people were like, oh, why are you going to Chicago? It's so dangerous there. Yada, yada. Um, I'm going to Chicago because A, I want to. <laughs> um, I'm taking a little road trip and uh, it's like six hours from where I live here in London. And my brother lives there, my older brother. So I'm going to go see my older brother. That's one of the reasons why I'm going to Chicago. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for my little road trip. So if you are from the Chicago area and you're watching, um, let me know in the comments below, what should I do? Where should I go? Like, you know, where, where should we, um, you know, sightsee? What, what's, uh, what should we do? What should, what should I do when I get there? Um, but yeah, like I know my brother lives there, but he recently just moved there. So he's not super, super familiar with the area just yet, but um, if you are from Chicago and you want to pass over some touristy attractions for me to do, um, let me know. <laughs> let me know in the comments below. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's it. 
All right, last color. There's so much paint on here. This should be interesting. I hope it's like this nice dark blue moody piece. All right, let's pop the bubbles. You notice I didn't put any silver or gold in this. I wanted it to be like full out just blue. So let's uh, blow it out and see what happens on this teeny tiny canvas. Teeny weeny. All right. Wow. Now, do you notice how, okay, first of all, the colors are stunning. I'm so doing this on a much bigger scale, much bigger canvas. Now, um, holy cow, you know what part of my favorite color is? Is the Thalo Turquoise by TriArt. I really love it. It's here. It's in here. It really just gives that nice turquoise color. I'm so redoing this on a much bigger canvas. Now, because there was so much paint on the canvas and I actually really wanted to cover as much as the canvas as possible with leaving little pockets of negative space. I'm loving this and I'm loving this, but I kind of want a little more negative space in here. So I am going to fidget with it just a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm going to just, wow, look at that tri art color. It's so pretty. Wow. So I'm just going to do this like so. Okay. And I'm going to push it down. Okay. But you guys all know how much I hate when you scrape something and you don't clean the sides. Like I can see a little green in there, like the turquoise. So you gotta really wipe that off or else when it dries, it is going to show. And you can't have that. You just can't, I'm telling you, it's horrible. It looks really bad, it's unprofessional. I don't like it. To each their own, but I don't like it. So make sure you get any remnants of any blue or anything like that off the canvas. I should have done that before I added all the white, but anywho. Okay, so now it's all white. All white going down the side. There we go. So I just blew a little around the edges so it wasn't a crisp, you know, perfect line, oval line. So that takes care of that. And then this one, I'm just gonna add a little more white just to bump it like so, okay. And there we go, just like that. See, it's just so simple. Have a squeeze bottle. This is just from the dollar store. Or you can use your low leave Effie bottles, but I like this for my edges and things like that. Um, and that's it. So now I have these negative white spaces where I want them. And I'm loving how rich this is. So. I'm so gonna do this on a much larger scale. Um, I'm going to touch up my edges and I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, so before I show you the close up, don't forget, take your stick and you want to scrape the drips, okay? So do that all four sides come back 10 minutes later, do it a second time and then a third time. 
and then you should be good to go. All right, this thing is rich, super rich in color. I don't know how much shimmer there's gonna be in here. We'll turn off the lights and see in a minute. Like, I mean, obviously the iridescent blue-green is in here, or green-blue, I mean, sorry, from Peveo. But again, there's no 24K, there's no silver in here, and that's how I wanted it. So let's check it out with the flash on and see if we can actually get any shimmer. All right, so I've got the flash on. Like, I mean, there should be. Yeah, there it is. There's a little, there's the iridescent green-blue. It's just the Arteza. I don't know if you can, if there's going to be any of that in here. But either way... Yeah, see, wherever you see the iridescent blue-green, there it is. Yeah, there's definitely some in here, that's for sure. Oh, there's some more. But yeah, I really didn't want to add any gold or silver. I wanted this to be a full-out bluish piece. All right, and there you have it, my friends. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Do you want to see me do it on a much, much bigger canvas? If so, let me know in the comments below. If anyone is interested in a piece like this using these same colors, you can always commission a piece of your own in any size you want. Um, again, just email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. So that is it. Don't forget, check out the information below for PourCon. If you want to come to Las Vegas, tickets are selling. I have three sold out classes already. So um, yeah, if you wanna come and see me, all the information is on the website. So that is it um, for me, for now. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.